Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for another reading. I'm Alia, I hope you're all doing well today. Today's topic is going to be what's going to happen between you and your person in the next three months. So this reading is timeless regardless as to when you find the video that's going to be good for the three months from the date you find you watch this video. So <clears throat> I'm sorry that my voice, I've lost my voice yesterday. I wanted to do this reading for you guys yesterday, but I just couldn't. I, I've been a, a bit sick, so you're going to hear me coughing, clearing my voice, uh, clearing my throat. Just, just forgive that. Um, <clears throat> I have tea here, so I'm going to be drinking tea, trying to speak. But anyway, I wanted, I wanted to do this reading for you guys today. Excuse me. So we have three piles or three groups. Let's do pile one is going to be the... Well, usually these have messages, but I'm just going to turn them. So this is Citrine for Pile 1. We're going to do uh, Rose Quartz for Pile 2 and um, Smoky Quartz Heart for Pile 3. Think about your person. Remember, this reading is for the next three months. And I'll give you guys a quick moment and we're going to get started with the reading. Okay, guys, let's start with group one. And let's see what's going to happen between you and your person in the next three months. So, the citrine. Let's start with the tarot first. So, what I wanted to do is just look at your person's energies and actions towards you. And then I'm going to do, the, then you're going to have, then this side here is going to be for you. So, if you do, um, resonate with your person's side then it's fine you take the reading as it resonates with you it really doesn't matter so the first first set of cards so they're going to be five cards that's going to be for your person the second is going to be you but like i said if you resonate with the first one then you can just switch them it doesn't matter so let's see the general energy <clears throat> for you, your person has towards you so we have the high priestess in reverse oh i wanted to also mention typically for those of you that have been watching me for quite some time you know, uh, I haven't been reading reversals, but I felt this time, I do read reversals and for the private readings, but I felt kind of inspired to read uh, reversals this time. So that's what I'm, what I'm doing. So the High Priestess in reverse, for his general, he or she, um, general energy towards you at this time. Um, what is he or she thinking? What is your person thinking? So we have the Page of Wands, which is great. This is a message card uh, for me a lot of times. <clears throat> it's a message which is great his or her feelings ace of cups that's amazing ace of cups in the upright um, your person's intention towards you within the next three months we have the fool and their action in the next three months towards you we have the four of wands reversed okay so now for your side your energy towards your person we have the King of Cups in reverse. Your feelings, I mean your thoughts, I'm sorry. Two of Pentacles, upright. Your feelings, Knight of Swords, <clears throat> upright. Your intentions, Eight of Cups, upright. And your final action for your person within the next three months, we have Eight of Wands reversed. So, and then we have a couple cards from the Romance Angels. We have the Honeymoon. And we have new love. Now I'm going to read, I have two more cards just to kind of look at possible energies coming up in the future, in the near future. So these two I'm going to keep towards the end. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to keep my throat hydrated or it just breaks down. My voice breaks. Okay, so the, the High Priestess in reverse what it's telling me the high priestess could mean a lot of things that when it's in reverse or upright but what i first got from this card what he's trying to tell me is trying to tell me that your person wants to be more open maybe there's some um, secrets or some dishonesty whatever i just feel like your person wants to put everything on the table or just be more honest be more authentic that's how i uh, i'm interpreting this card 
um, in this spread, okay? So I really feel like <clears throat> if your person had some sort of secret, or wasn't entirely being honest, and you've always felt like there was something they're keeping from you, I think that they want to be more honest, more upfront with you. Um, at least just to speak their truth, okay? Uh, with the, what is your person thinking right now? Page of Wands. Um, this card is very similar to the Fool is in the sense that it means going on a new adventure, having a new zest for life and adventure, trying something new. But a lot of times I read this card as, as a reaching out card, as a message card, usually a phone call. It could be a text, but it's a lot of times it's just reaching out to someone. It's, you know, it's a message. So your person definitely wants to reach out to you. Maybe there's certain things in their lives they want to be, become. They, there's some truths they want to. There's certain things they want to come clean with, and they want to tell you about it. The, he, uh, your person's feelings, Ace of Cups. No need for translation here. We all know the Ace of Cups is a very positive card. Your person loves you. I mean, of course, if you think your person doesn't love you, just being really bad with you, then it's not your reading. But in this case, if you guys resonate with this reading and you feel that your person loves you regard, regardless of appearances, um, well, this is just confirmation. This is their feeling position here. <coughs> Hold on. So I was just going to, before I get to the, um, so I just did the current energy, um, what they're thinking and what they're feeling. So let's do your side before we go into their intention and to the action part of the reading okay so what you're thinking of them is that the king of cups reverse which you might think of them as very manipulative or very possessive or very domineering and just not a good person at all you know not a just just you're not seeing them as uh, if you had them once in a high on this high pedestal and they have, have come down definitely from that at least this is how you see them. Maybe at first you saw them as a very kind, maybe the one, um, as everything positive about the King of, of Cups, but now you see them as this, which the King of Cups on reverse could just mean, you know, somebody who's very aggressive, possessive, um, even just indifferent and very cold, just not a good person. So that's how you see them right now. And what you're thinking, um, with the Two of Pentacles, you kind of go back and forth with it. Sometimes you think positive thoughts about your person, and sometimes you think of negative thoughts about your person. So you're just a bit confused. You don't know. You're doing the juggling thing going on here. Whatever you wake up, <clears throat> however you wake up that day, and it's, sometimes you feel loving towards them, and sometimes you feel very, well, the opposite. You know, you, you just kind of go back and forth. And then for your feelings, the king, the knight of swords, the knight of swords is a, it's not a good card for feelings. So you, I feel like you're pretty angry um, with your person because you felt let down and then how you see them as the king of cups uh, reversed. You kind of, yeah, you're mad and maybe you have every, you know, the right to do, to be mad. You know, maybe they have given you every reason because with the High Priestess here, I feel like they were keeping a lot from you. This The High Priestess too, what just came to mind is that if, for some of you that chose Group 1, you've never been intimate with your person. Maybe you've had these feelings, they were there, and you know they're present in your person as well, but neither one of you has never acted on those feelings, so you've never been an intimate, um, it's been in a 5D, it's never been intimate relationship, because the High Priestess could mean platonic relationship as well. Because in the reverse, I feel like your person, maybe for some of you, might want to become intimate, want to go from friendship to a romantic relationship. And just, just for some of you, that just came to mind right now. Okay, so let's go back to your person here. Their intention uh, with the fool is just, the fool here is taking the leap of faith. So I feel like their intention are pr pretty good. With all these cards of love and, you know, putting things on the table or to try to take the connection maybe to a different love, to a romantic level, um, with the fool is just taking that chance. <clears throat> with you, your intention is to walk away with the Eight of Cups. You just, you're tired. I feel like group one, you're really disappointed. You're a bit angry with the Knight of Swords here. 
You want to walk away. That's your intentions. And if it's not you, if you feel like this is not you, remember it's just a general reading. Choose another group. Um, so the final action, the Four of Wands, the Four of Wands reversed indicates celebrations, marriage, and all the good stuff. Up, um, I mean, upright, I'm sorry. That's, it means great things. But reversed, I'm reading this card, it just means delays. Your person wants maybe a relationship with you, wants this Four of Wands, but it's just being delayed right now. So, um, at least not in the next three months. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> I think that the first things first, your person is going to reach out to you and speak their truth. But by then you would have been like, you're already in the transition or you're already about to move on from your person. And then you get that <clears throat> unexpected phone call or text, maybe to want to meet with them and just tell you, just to speak to you, you know, have that conversation with you. And with you and for you, the, uh, the your action, the eight of wands, even though you want to walk away, I feel like this card, it's preventing you. It's like there's a delay. So you're still not going to be able to move on um, completely as much as you want. But you're still going to be a bit in limbo, like going back and forth with your decision. You don't know if it's the right decision. So yeah. So for the next three months, I feel like there's some truth. You know, something that's going to come to light that you can understand why. That you can understand that. What your person did or the way they acted, it wasn't so personal. Maybe they weren't able to give you that love or that relationship that you, you wanted. Maybe they weren't available. So even, even if they're not dealing with somebody else, it couldn't just simply mean they were not mature enough. They weren't <clears throat> emotionally available. It could be that they were in the full energy as well. They could have just been not very good with commitment or not knowing exactly what they wanted. So with the honeymoon here, so it looks like to me, I'm going to read the honeymoon card as the six of swords, which is a card going from rough waters to calm waters. So things would improve. So if anything, group one is that <clears throat> your connection one is moving in the right direction. Um, for some of you, it might be a start of a relationship, a start of a love affair. If you haven't, if you've just been friends, You've been admiring each other at a distance, but nothing ever happening. For, so for those of you, that's going to be a new romantic relationship. And for those of you that have already dealt with your person, you, you know, the, you might have a new sense of, um, maybe you guys were reconciled and you would um, begin again. And for those of you really that succeed, because there's a lot of you watching, for those of you that do want to move on, you have that option of that new love. But mostly, guys, I don't feel like the new love means a new person, maybe for a small percentage of you. Mainly is that whatever went wrong in this connection, within the next three months, at least you're going to have communication. At least you're going to know where you stood. Maybe even your person expressing themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what the, where is your connection heading. Okay, so we have choose your battles, which is the seven of wands. And then we have open up, which is the four of pentacles. So where, you head, where is your connection heading? And, and I love when, it, when the tarot does this. It kind of summarizes the reading, what I've just been saying up till now, is that your person really wants to fight for the connection. That's what it seems. But it might take longer than three months just because we're doing the reading from now to three months. The main thing is that expect that your person is going to open up to you. That's why I'm getting from this. So, so yeah, so something is going to come to light, group one. So some things, at least you're going to know where you stand. And maybe that's the reason why you're not going to be able to move on from that because then you're going to be second guessing yourself. Uh, you might be thinking to yourself, is, is this the right move? Maybe should I give them another chance? So yeah, I hope it resonated with you guys, group one. If it didn't, choose another group. And if it did resonate, um, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Till next time, thank you very much. <coughs> okay, group two, Rose Quartz. 
Okay, let's see what we have with the tarot. So this is going to be for your person, the first uh, five set of cards. It's going to be for your person. The second is for you. But if you find yourself resonating with the first set of cards, then you choose. It doesn't matter. Take your reading as you resonate with it. Okay, so, <clears throat> so for their general energy towards you right now, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. And how does your person think? What, what do they think about you right now? We have the Magician. Oh, what's on their mind regarding you? The Magician in the reverse. And remember, we're just reading for the next three months. Their feelings right now with the Two of Pentacles, upright. Their intention, the Fool. Uh, yeah, it's the Fool. Oh, this is, we also have the intention for the group one. Okay. And their, <clears throat> their action, the next three months, we have the Eight of Swords upright. Okay. So, for your side, your current energy towards your person, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Your, your current thoughts about your person, Four of Swords in reverse. Your feelings, Page of Pentacles upright. Your intentions, the hangman and your action towards them, the eight of wands in reverse. This is similar also to, we have the eight of wands for group one in the, in the, as action. You might want to watch group one, just there might be some messages in there for your group two. Okay, so let's see from Romance Angels. <clears throat> we have playfulness. And stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Okay, so your person currently, their energy towards you, we have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords, usually it's moving on, being, you know, to move on from something or someone. But um, it came out in the reverse, so I take it as your person has moved on. Even though you might think they've moved on from you, they haven't. What are they currently thinking? The magician is usually the manifester, has the power, every, you know, very confident, determined. Um, but I feel like in reverse, your person feels a bit weak right now, um, not knowing what to do. They feel like maybe they don't have what it takes. Circumstances are beyond their control and they feel powerless. That's what they're thinking. Um, their feelings, they go back and forth with the Two of Pentacles. You know, part of them wants to walk away, part of them wants to stay. You know, they eat, they're just juggling. You might be dealing with somebody here that is involved with somebody else. Maybe they're married or in a relationship. They don't have to be. But regardless, if this person, um, they're, they're juggling. Maybe they're juggling their feelings for you. They go back and forth. They're a bit confused. They don't really know how they feel. It could be also maybe if it's not a, a, another person that preventing you guys from being together. It could be also maybe career. They're not happy because the two, the pentacles stands for money and finances and career. So it could be maybe they're not comfortable as to where they are financially if they're not dealing with the um, another person. Uh, so before we go into the intentions and their final actions towards you the next three months, let's look at you. We have the eight, for you, your general energy towards your person right now. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. What Ace of Swords in the reverse is just, you're not very clear on what you want. You don't know where you stand with your person at this moment in time. What you're thinking, you just wish your person would actually take some action and get out of this um, Four of sword energy. You want to close in the gap. You want to close in the emotional distance that you guys have between one another. That's what you want. Your feelings, uh, you're a bit conflicted too. With the Page of Pentacles, you want something. Even though in this deck, it, it kind of shows which way to go. There's like, uh, should I make a left? Should I go straight or backwards? But in here, what you really want, you just want something from them. You just want them to do something, you know, for change. Maybe you've been doing everything and you just want them to do something, offer you something tangible. Then you know that you're going in the right direction with them, that you might have a future with them. And uh, <clears throat> so your person's intentions, they want to be free with the fool here. Maybe they are restricted somehow in their lives. Maybe there's another person in their life that just um, they make, make them feel 
they don't have freedom. So they want to be free. They want to take that leap of faith with you, even for some of you. You know, they just want to be able to be free to act the way they want to act, take the decision they want to make. But if I really feel like this person here with the magician reversed and the eight of, of swords, it's like they can't. Part of them wants to, but they can't. Something is preventing them. Because the the eight of swords could be somebody, yeah, somebody that's married or or in a relationship or maybe they're not they don't feel good enough something that is keeping them even if they're not married they just feel like they're not ready maybe they have nothing to give you they are you know they're not at your level and they feel like oh i'm just what can i give this person i don't have nothing for them so it's something that keeps them um restricted and a lot of times these restrictions are self-imposed in the eight of swords because <clears throat> easily, 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 she, this in this picture, she can remove those blindfolds and free herself. But she doesn't do it. So it's self-imposed restrictions. So in the next three months, I don't feel like your person's going to take any, uh, they're not going to take major action towards you because they feel restricted. They feel like they don't have the strength to do so. But one thing for sure, though, don't feel like your person has moved on. They haven't, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Let me just drink some tea. Okay. So for your intentions, what are your intentions? You're suspended as well. You know, with the hangman here, you just hanging on from the street. And don't you know? You're not going any place, anywhere. So I feel like you too. You're you're just waiting. You're just waiting on your person. You're a bit conflicted, and you're trying to stay optimistic about your relationship and your connection. But, um, and also here with the Eight of Wands in reverse, Eight of, of Wands is an action-oriented card, but in reverse is that there are delays, things are not moving forward, that's what's happening. So if what I'm feeling here, group two, that most of you are just stagnant in this connection, you don't know which way to go, you know, if you want more... If you really resonate with this reading and you want more, you want to know more about your situation, you can contact me for private reading. That information is in the description box below this video. But one thing I'm going to tell you guys is that don't take things too seriously. You know, try to be just playful. You know, bring that light energy you once had in your connection. Don't be so serious. Don't think. Don't take things so seriously. Know that your person hasn't moved on. That they are stuck. Maybe not full of their own, it's just circumstances, you know. Um, but just bring the, the light-hearted energy back into your connection. That's what you need to do. <coughs> so let's see here with the Oracle card. This is the, the potential future. Of course, anything is subject to change, but this is just, you know, possible, uh, future possible energy is about to come. Um, so we have daydreams and decisions, which is the seven of cups. And then we have detach, which is the hermit. So I don't see, I see that both of you are a bit conflicted. And um, for you, lack of clarity, your person not being able to move, to move forward because of, um, <clears throat> because of their circumstances, they're restricted, they're not able to move. Even though they want this at, uh, in their heart, they want to be able to, you know, take a chance and come towards you, but they're not able to. So with the Seven of Cups, it's just very scattered energy, and I think it's both of you. And with the detach here, so I think within the next three months, not much is going to happen with your person. If anything, you're both going to be a bit detached, a bit, you know, like, because it's the hermit energy, just being you know, self-reflecting, just kind of um, still having that emotional distance. At least for the next three months. Don't despair, group two. This is just in the next three months. Of course, anything can change after that. You know, nothing set in stone. Anything is subject to change. But this is just the energies. Both you and your person are stuck. Not because you don't want to be together. It's just circumstances. Okay? I hope you liked the reading, guys. If you didn't resonate, choose another group. It just means it wasn't for you this week, um, <clears throat> this time. Choose another group, and if you did like it, please like and subscribe. 
if you haven't already. Thank you very much. Until next time. So let's see what we have here with the tarot first. So this is going to be your person, the first set of cards for your person. The second set of cards is for you. If you resonate with the first set of cards, then just switch it. Okay, take it as it resonates with your situation. Okay, so let's see. Your person's energy towards you and your connection right now. We have the Eight of Swords in reverse. We have... And for how does your person think about you right now and your connection? We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. How does your person feel about you right now and your connection? Ace of Cups upright. Beautiful. Your person's intention right now towards you and your connection. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. And your person's final action towards you and your connection within the next three months is the moon in the reverse. Okay, so for you, your current energies towards your person, we have the five of swords in the reverse. Your thoughts about your person, six of cups. The, your feelings towards your person, six of pentacles in the reverse. Your intention towards your person, the death. And your, the final action towards your person in the next three months, we have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. All right, so from the Romance Angels, we have Religious Factors. And then we have Express Your Love. Okay, we're going to keep the last uh, for, uh, two, uh, Oracle cards towards the end. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Okay. So your current energies toward, I mean, your person's current energies towards you. So we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords in the reverse, but the Eight of Swords is a card of restrictions of somebody not being able to move, act the way they want to act. They've been restricted either by themselves, self-imposed restrictions, or circumstances. Uh, restrict them for doing what they want to do but because it's in the reverse which is great news guys it's there your person is coming out of this it's coming out of this eight of swords they want to break free from this they're not as restricted as they they want what they were once okay their current thoughts and uh, about your connection and about you the seven of cups before it's upright is the option card is like i've been a bit distracted having more than one option but a lot of times it's just scattered energy that knowing what what they want. <coughs> In the reverse, I really feel like your person has some sort of clarity. Together with the Eight of Swords in the reverse, your person is you know seeing things clearer first time and maybe in 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 your connection ever, which is great. I think your person knows what they want right now. So if there's something that happened in your person. Maybe they they have come. Maybe they've gone through some sort of awakening, and they they came out of it with clearer, clearer mind, clearer heart. They know what they want, and how do they currently feel about you and your connection? Ace of Cups. That's beautiful. Um, I think Group One also had Ace of Cups for feelings. I'm not sure. You might want to check Group One. Um, Ace of Cups. Well, no translation here. Your person feels very very deeply about you okay so let's go we're gonna for the intention and action we're gonna read them later right now let's look at your side <clears throat> how you see your person and your connection at first maybe you saw them as the five of swords somebody maybe you could have even this is a defeat card somebody the winning at the expense of another you could have felt betrayed defeated somebody put a knife in your back you know, let down, just disappointed. And I think you've gone through some sort of um, <clears throat> realization, some sort of awakening in this connection. Now you understand why 
they came into your life and now you understand more your connection as well just like your person i think that this is a soulmate twin flame type of connection well regardless of labels this is a very strong spiritual connection i think both of you can marry each other i think your vibration is higher in turn your person's vibration is also higher you're both in alignment here because with the eight of swords in reverse they don't feel as restricted as they once did and for you they don't you don't see them as the villain as you once did maybe even some if you didn't see them as the villain you just really hurt and felt defeated and backstabbed um maybe that's how you felt like uh, felt a huge letdown from them and i don't think you see them anymore i think now you're more coming from a, a place of love and compassion for your person and i think your person feels that okay you feed off of each other's energies and then uh, his thoughts or her thoughts i mean i'm sorry not his no, no. your thoughts about your person six of cups well you want this you want to reunite with your person six of cups is a card of reunion and you know you want the person to return to your life you want to have this um what you had once you want to recapture that that innocent that innocent love that's you know that spiritual love that you once felt for them and you want to get back with them if you're in a separation but at the same time you don't want to you don't want things to be as they were before with the six of pentacles there was definitely an off in reverse there was a definitely a lack of balance in your connection maybe you were the one giving too much uh, i doubt that they gave you too much i think it's the other way around i think you were the one maybe always you're the you're the chaser and then the, they were the runner and i think you're the one that went above and beyond to try to make this connection happen and because it didn't nothing it happened you felt a huge let down but I think now you see them for, with more compassionate, from a compassionate place, a loving place. But at the same time, you will not settle for any less. You want balance in this. Um, you want this equal give and take in your connection. That's how you're feeling right now. But you're not, even though you acknowledge you have a strong soul connection, you're not so dependent, so desperate to have them in your life. If things are not the way you would like them to be, you know, at least there's some balance. Um, that's so yeah great you have uh, risen your standards that's that's amazing um, <clears throat> let's go back to your person's side their intention uh, well kind of threw me off when I first saw the page of cups in the reverse page of cups it's usually the friendly person the apology and all that um, but it's a very youthful energy too you know very, very young you know so it's not mature but I feel like in the reverse, I really feel like maybe your person has matured. I'm going to read it like that because in the reverse, it could mean the opposite of being friendly and loving and all that. But I'm reading it in this, I'm reading this intuitively. And when I'm, I feel like your person just wants to mature. They have matured. They want to give you something emotionally more stable, not something small as the page of cups. You know, they want to give you the... Um, even though the Ace of Cups is the beginning, but it's still, it's like, it's a very strong love. This could be also, why is the Page of Cups in the reverse? Maybe you even apologize to you too. Because regardless, uh, sometimes the reverse card does not always diminish doesn't mean the exact opposite of the upright card it just means that there's certain blocks or you know or maybe the energy instead of being outward giving it to somebody else is we put it like inward so maybe the page of cups in reverse is somebody taking responsibility for their own actions maybe even giving themselves that kind of love because they feel like well they need to be loving so they could you know love somebody else so i think the intention more than anything for your person is to grow and be able to receive love there's a lot happening within your person here with the eight of swords reversed and the seven of cups the reverse there's big time growth with your person and um so for you you want the death as your intention so the death here doesn't just mean um, doesn't always mean the end of something. You, but you just want definitely things to change, or you want uh, some things to change. Whatever the old ways to die and for uh, a rebirth, 
a renewal of, of a connection. So that's what you want. You're not, like I said, you're not going to settle for less. If you're not getting what you want from this connection, you are strong enough to walk away because you have, you have grown as well. You both have grown in this connection. And your final actions for your person, we have the, the moon. The moon is usually, it's about fear, <clears throat> the unknown, the dis disappointments, secrets, but it's in the reverse. So I really feel there's going to be a lot of clarity. Your person is clear. Maybe your person wants to come clean, want to speak to you. Um, and what's funny, we have this card, express your love. So if your person has been hiding, has been wearing this mask, for quite some time and you don't even know where you stood with that i think with the moon in reverse they finally want to express their love to, uh, towards you so remember this is a general reading guys it's not going to resonate with everyone uh, but for the most of you that have selected this some huge change is happening in your person and they want to come clean with their with their feelings at least be more authentic um, maybe the reason why your person before kind of was um didn't know what they wanted they were restricted it could be had to do with family traditions maybe family um kind of made them they grew up with the type of beliefs you got to marry within your own culture within your own religion even within your own race for some of them so religious factors card doesn't always mean religion it could just mean usually kind of influenced by family traditions you know or yeah but I feel like regardless of this will, this way, regardless of your cultural background, even just the way you grew up, you know, uh, different families with different sets of, you know, morals and beliefs, it doesn't matter. If you guys have a will, there's going to be a way to be together, regardless of how you guys were brought up, what type of beliefs. Um, <clears throat> there's always a compromise. If you want this relationship, if the love is very strong on both sides, it's just... I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work work out just because maybe you guys have different um, belief systems. Regardless if one is atheist, one is religious, uh, maybe one that believes that you should stick within the same culture kind of thing. It doesn't matter. It, it, I mean, scenarios are endless here. But you, um, so your person definitely wants to come clear, being honest about something, express themselves to you. And you are going to be in the Queen of Cups energy. You're going to be very receptive. I am telling you, Group 3, something has changed within you. That's the energy that I'm getting here. The next three months, you're just going to be open. You're going to, you're going to still be this loving, caring, self-nurturing person you've always been. So, which is great because you guys are in a, you have a line or you're about soon to come into alignment if you haven't already. So let's see what a possible future for you guys, Group 3. So we have the love, the six, which is, this is the lovers, which is great. And the clarity of belief, which is the ace of swords. <coughs> Excuse me. So you guys, your relationship, your connection is going, is heading in the, in the positive direction. The ace of swords can cut both ways, but a lot of times it's about truth coming out. It's about the relationship that's going to be... For the lovers, it's going to be a relationship built on honesty. It's going to be, there's going to be clarity in this connection. I really feel like you have a very strong spiritual connection, group three, with whoever you're dealing with. And I feel like finally you're going to get that truth and that honesty and clarity you've been waiting for. So for the next three months, things are progressing very nicely. Of course, if you think no way this person despises you or you despise them that it's not your reading but if it is if you do resonate with it i feel like this is progressing in the right direction great energies on both sides both of you are aligning and you might have you know there's a possibility for a better future for you guys okay so that's all i have for you group three thank you so much for watching my video if it did resonate with you uh please like a um like and subscribe if you haven't already until next time guys i'm sorry about my voice i wanted to get this reading out for you guys today god bless till next time bye